morning to all of you, Deputy Chief Minister, the advisor, invited guests, the sponsors of these uh, very important training, and uh, the students who have come, or the trainees, if I can call them so, who have come here, the media from Nagaland. I'm indeed grateful that uh, you, you found time to be here on Saturday morning. I think it's very... Two things have happened simultaneously. One in Kohima and one here in Dimapur. Before I come to explaining the one in uh, Kohima and Dimapur, I would want to go back to that little point our lady made here about CSR not finding any uh, activity worthy of being supported in Nagaland. Mm. And that has also been the voice of the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland to me. S uh, a few years ago, several years ago, must be around 1920, 2020, or even 19. And since after that, we planned the CSR conclave, that was in 2022, we made sure quite a few companies who had no manufacturing or servicing center in Nagaland and otherwise who had no reason to have their CSR spent here in Nagaland. But we convinced them that they should also partake in this and that conclave was held here in Nagaland with so many participants who came here to support several activities. Since after that, steady flow of CSR is coming into Nagaland and also purpose-driven CSR support are also being tailor-made. In the purpose-driven tailor-made CSRs which are coming into Nagaland, I bring the two institutes, one of uh, uh, Kohima and the other one here in Dimapur. In Kohima, a central government-run institution called the NILIT which gives training in electronics-related uh, activities. And here in Kohima, the state-run unit, which is the NTTI, have each got their own CSR support for training Naga youth in advanced production techniques or in coding or adapting local, like, handloom like uh, skills that you have to become a lot more AI driven. There the Tatas have come in to also train youth for activities which lead to semiconductor manufacturing technology. So the Kohima Center, Tatas have come in with the SCSR and with their experts who come in as master trainers Whereas here, only a few weeks ago, I requested Sri Baby R. Mohan Reddy to come and do something here, which is doing all over the South. His last attempt, or which is all running, the last one in addition to the others which he's running, is in Vishagapatnam. So, in passing for something else, when he came to my, meet me, I requested him, I am likely to go to Nagaland, I would like to have this kind of a skilling youth which you're providing in Vishakapatnam, in Bengaluru, in Hyderabad and so on. Why doesn't your foundation want to do it in Nagaland? He said, why won't I want to do it? Certainly come and readily accept it. So I'm, I'm indeed very grateful to Sri Bidyar Mohan Reddy. His, his uh, offices, his foundation, he lives, everything is in Hyderabad. From there it's easy to do it in Bengaluru or to Vishagapatnam, which is another Telugu-speaking uh, region. But for them to have to come all the way to Nagaland is sheer commitment to skilling youth in India, sheer commitment to making sure that all youth in India, irrespective of where they live, next to his home or behind his factory or front of his other unit or in distant Nagaland didn't make a difference to him. He said he'll come readily. 
So I am indeed grateful for the Kohima Tata Group coming for semiconductor related and the Dimapur related in this two room facility in IIT in which PVR Mohan Reddy is coming. So I want to tell our lady and the Honorable Chief Minister who felt CSR doesn't come, CSR, no CSR comes here into Nagaland. Look at the range of CSR which is coming into Nagaland. And look at the purpose-driven way in which CSR is coming to help our youth in Nagaland. Give them the skills, not of, uh, you know, things which happen every day, you know, tool rooms for foundry, tool rooms for making sure some machine components can be repaired. All that is important. They should continue. But the new age related manufacturing which happens using AI, using uh, very many like things like 3D printers and AI itself is going to be transitory. We don't know for how long but transitory but in the meanwhile it is capturing every productive activity because of the efficiencies it brings in. Now should the Naga youth not get it? Why wouldn't they be trained in it? And why can't they benefit from the training so that they get jobs which are actually these areas in which a lot of uh, engineering qualified students are coming in. Engineers or no engineers, even they can get trained. And that is the objective with which we've come here. I'm indeed grateful for the state government for being very cooperative and ready to you know, access these uh, sponsors who are coming and give them all the kind of support so that today we are in a position to inaugurate. And today, uh, although this started only a couple of weeks ago with me and BVR speaking about it, but we have a set of youth who even come as far away from Mon uh, in the eastern side of Nagaland to come and take up this uh, training. So the enthusiasm with which youth are coming, the cooperation with which the state government has handheld all these people together and the support that we are getting from the people of Nagaland and from the media will make it a very successful attempt for the young people of Nagaland to really be at scale with everybody else and with your innovation and skills. You are already very, very creative people. You have so much to display your creativity in the form of the textiles, in the form of the woodwork that you do. Look at the beautiful woodwork that was presented to me. You are already creative young minds. Now with this opportunity, I'm sure you'll be able to make a very big difference to your life, to Nagaland's life and Nagaland's contribution towards because of Bharat. So I wish you all, very, all the very best. I'm unable to spare more time because after this I have a meeting with the Chief Minister as well. So thank you for coming and all the very best to all of you. Thank you.